I'll say this, dude. I was pretty nervous with the cameras on. I'm like, man, <laughs> this is what guys on tour deal with. I can't even deal with that better. <laughs> if you clicked on the link, you at the right place. Welcome back to Golf and Gospel. Got my dog Nate Wong here. We're gonna be talking about how he found love through the game of golf, how a fatal car crash almost ended his life, and also how he found Christ through suffering. Let's go tee it off. Watching my steps like I was James Harden. Guarding me is like Garden Jordan, you can't afford it. I shoot like Wardell in clutch moments. Regardless my opponents, I try to keep it honest as I write these little sonnets under wraps like my name Adonis. My daughter Mix like her name Adonis. I keep it straight as an orthodontist. Never become pompous, that's my promise. I'm conscious of the garden when my fruit tends to harvest. Yeah, yeah. Skating on tracks like I'm Sidney Crosby. Uh. Look, this is the thing is if you can hit it, you have to wait. So yeah. See, I always think I can do it, and then when I let them clear, I shank one right. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing is, if they're on the green, you would pure it and then yeah, that's the knock thing. them out. Yeah. What's up, guys? Got my dog Nate Wong in the cart with me. About to play some golf at Bel Air Golf Course in Glendale. This guy's a dog. I'll let you know that now. How you doing, sir? Good. I'll let you know, man. There are three rules to my channel, bro. One, I encourage everybody to love Jesus. I know you do. That's why you're the homie. Second thing is, you get one breakfast ball. Once you use it, it's gone. After that, you're taking provisionals okay. and you're hitting three off the tee. And lastly, bro, ain't no gimmies, bro. You got to finish your putts out. Sweet. Yeah, so here we go. The tee box will be yours. I always let my guests go first. Oh, no pressure. Part of me doesn't want to watch him swing on this first one because... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, man. You I don't want to be intimidated. I feel like every time I tee off on this hole, I hit it way left. That's why you don't keep scoring practice rounds. It's competition, though. This is the golf and gospel classic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think people have, like, high expectations of me because I played golf in college, and and I'm not anywhere I used to be. I still play tournaments and stuff like that, but it's like... Yeah. I just get disappointed. It's like... <laughs> I get disappointed, too. No, I ain't playing tournaments. <sighs> Stay. <laughs> You see it down, All right? It's in bounds. Uh, I think it's left of the car path. Let's keep it. I'm gonna save my breakfast ball. Is that what? I'm gonna keep my breakfast. Oh, ball. okay. I thought you about to use it now. No, 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 no. Come on, Jaren. There are no first tee box nerves. You're good. He just played in college. Cut. Dan did the same thing as you. Stay That's in. Car ball. Stay in. Oh. Gotta take one, so I went OB. Dang it. Early, early breakfast. That's better. Dude, that's money. Yeah. That's it. I half swung it. <sighs> I have to use my breakfast ball early, guys. I'm not happy about that. I was pin high, but I'm in that person's backyard. Looks good. There we go. Germ, dude. Good shot. Let's get a birdie here, please. Good shot, man. Thank you. All right, this is for you two. This is how you put your putter down without getting your grip wet. You just do that. Bam. I got a dry grip when I chip it up. All right, let's take a look at the screen. Looked like yours landed pretty soft. I don't know if mine will behave the same way. That man's a real golfer. Go. Go. Nice. A little short. Got underneath it. Guy once told me, man, the two worst things to hear in golf is steal you. Yeah. There we go. Especially after you putt. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I doubt, I doubt you short this. Look at this. Uh, but look at this. Uh, look at how this pull is. Like the pin placement? Like how it's well, slanted? Yeah. Like it's yeah. like crazy slanted. Yeah. Yours is tougher. Mine, mine at least is straight up. I'm not a big, you know, Matt Fitzpatrick always leaves it in, you know? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, what an idiot. But I can't complain. I can't argue against him. He won the U.S. Open last year. He did. Wow, that's so got real far slow. So what they say, guys, is you always watch your opponent's putt to get a better read. So I know now it's, that it's pretty slow. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, birdie. Oh, oh. stupid. Fine. Tap in par. I think the green, or, the green is so slow, I held your putt up, man. I thought I was going to fall to the left for sure. Uh, yeah. Damn, that was a smooth stroke. 
All right, guys, both still even. But I had to use a breakfast ball, though. So you've been playing Gloss and Shoes for us. Uh, you and your twin brother, mm -hmm. uh, Aaron, right? That's yep, Aaron, yeah. that's his name, that's right. Go. And you said through golf, there's two things I want you to answer. Tell me about your experience starting off. And you also said, man, how you found love through golf. Yeah, well, when I was young, my, my dad was my hero. And I feel like every parent, or every child when they're young, like their parents are just their idol, you know? Right. And my dad still is, but yeah. particularly when I was young and he would golf all the time, not all the time, he would just golf on the weekends, you mm -hmm. know? And as a young kid, you just want to hang out with your dad. Yeah. He's at work all the time. Mm -hmm. He owned a restaurant. So I was like, hey dad, I'll, you do this golf thing. Mm -hmm. Can I join you? And yeah. yeah. And I think that's where like our, our bond started. Mm -hmm. And obviously there was like some ups and downs because sure. my dad was really pushy, you know? Mm -hmm. It, I'll say this though. He was a really pushy in a good way. Mm -hmm. Just as a kid, I wasn't receptive to it. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I don't think there's anything wrong with what he did. It was For just sure. as a kid, I didn't like it that much, and yeah. I didn't well, like Harvard. We don't, we don't come to figure that stuff out till later, too. Like yeah. How important it is. Now, how, how was your experience with it though? Like playing at five, and that, tell me about your experience from five year old all the way to high school. Oh, <laughs> it was definitely ups and downs. Mm -hmm. When you're five, you don't want to, when you're five or six, you know, like you don't want to go out in a hundred degree heat like today mm, and play yeah. golf, you know, yeah. and, but yeah, it was a lot of ups and downs. We got lessons starting out. I started out right-handed actually. Oh, and then yeah. I remember like I was with a, a coach, Coach Manny at San Marcos mm -hmm. in yeah. Chandler. Nice. And he's like, throw a golf ball. And I threw it with my left hand. He's like, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, you should be swinging left. You should be swinging lefty. Yeah. And it was like all over again. Like, I feel like I had to relearn golf oh, all over man. again. What age was that at? Uh, I, I've probably been playing like six months, but six okay, months, okay. but six yeah. months was forever for yeah, a for six-year-old, sure. you know. Right. So, yeah. I remember I got up to like putt, and you get used to like aiming out your right eye. Mm. So then now I'm aiming out my left eye. Wow. And it's funny that you say tap ins because I couldn't even make a tap in yeah. when yeah. I was six, wow. uh, and I like switched. Whereas like putting, I was okay with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, from six to high school, I just played a bunch of junior golf. Was kind of on and off with how much I love golf, but then in high right. school. I was really like, oh, I have a chance at probably getting a scholarship and mm. and maybe maybe pr playing pro. Yeah. So I don't know. I think people are they love what they're good at too. Mm -hmm. So sure. I found out I was not bad. Yeah, so. good. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the whole two here, uh, part three. Dang, I half swung it because I was scared. That's fine. That's all right. You'd rather miss short on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like the guy's just like this guy who's going to judge you all the time. Like, I understand his righteous judgment, but like, yeah, I just, yeah, I just had an unhealthy relationship with him. And I was saying at the time I was doing a lot of work for him. So it's like, oh, I have to do this to be loved, which defeats the whole point of grace. Right? Yeah, it's like legalistic almost. I, I, yeah, for sure. A little chip shot here. I want to aim left, it's a little hill right there. And some uh, duck poop right here. Somewhere. That's it. Dude, right. beauty. You know hey, that's I'm good if you want it. <laughs> Very round, bro. That's good if you want it. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Gotta make it. <laughs> okay, viewers at home, you should know this. I brought my wedge up here just in case, but a bad putt's always better than a bad chip, so don't be a hero. It's pretty dry and pretty flat here, so I'm just gonna putt this. Ugh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. It's not the Masters, I'll, I'll go. Sit. Maybe not. Go. Get legs. Yo, you. Did you. Did you hear me say sit? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I definitely thought that was short. Dude, nice chip, man. Thanks, That's bro. That's real close. Thank you. You're close enough that it doesn't matter where you missed it. I hope. Hold it. Got a bogey. Oh, man. Got a bogey. Bogey from 100. That's not good. <laughs> First off, guys, please like and subscribe. Please, bro. If you made it this far, just, just do it. 
If I make this putt, you have to. I don't like that I just gave myself that pressure. There you go. Like and subscribe. All right. So, bro, um, obviously you became really good in golf. Uh, that you started to, <laughs> yeah. that you started to get some offers, man. Uh, so, what offers did you start to get, and also where did you end up going to college? My first Division One offer was Northern Colorado, mm -hmm. um, and that was like the towards a later part of the season in senior year. Mm -hmm. But then in the spring, I got offered to Nebraska, nice. and it was a little bit bigger offer. Mm -hmm. My brother was already going there, nice. um, so yeah, it was like a no brainer to, For sure. to go. And it's Nebraska, like yeah. they. Are they, they take care of their athletes, you know. Are they known for being good at golf? Oh, no. No, okay. if I was really good, I would have tried to go to, like, ASU or... I ASU think, has a good team. Well, oh, yeah, really good, yeah. yeah. Like, Phil, Phil Mickelson oh, went yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, sure, Rom yeah. went there. Yeah. Pat, well, duh. Uh, Pat Perez, uh -huh. Paul Casey. Wow, okay. Legit, legit team, yeah. historically. And they have a billion guys, like, lower-level tour and, mm -hmm. you know, corn fairy and that yeah. kind of stuff. But Obviously, uh, I didn't play golf in high school. I wish I did, but uh, yeah. that's still impressive. I think if you... Because golf is such a hard sport, bro, I think if you get an offer anywhere, like, good for you. Appreciate it. It's football, yeah. too. But, yeah, I, <laughs> just take any opportunity you can. Like, there is, just because I went to Nebraska didn't mean – like, that wasn't the reason why I didn't go pro, right? It's, yeah, yeah. Anywhere you go, you have the opportunity to, do, to make it what you want. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. So, good point. All right. I won that hole, so I'll tee us off first. Yep. You got honors. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't mess up anything. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Off the toe. It's fine. Okay, sit. Oh, no more breakfast. This hole always gives me trouble. When I play with Mariah here, we get bad here too. Yeah, I saw that you play here, so that's why I was like, maybe Bel Air. I played here a couple times. Yeah, bro, do you have room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I have enough room? Yeah, I, I'm good. You just gotta get. I'm trying to get on this side of the tee box so I can have a better angle at the green. That's yeah. the bunkers in play. Cut. God, I try to hit a cut. Hit it dead straight. Stay there. Keep running. Keep running. <laughs> it drew. I know. I was trying to hit a cut. I just didn't hold it off long enough. Didn't yeah. trust it, you know? You're like, why did you do a practice swing? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's just a routine. Like, you want to rehearse what you're about to do. Yeah. You have a new shot mm. every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Whereas gymnastics, it's like, no offense, but it's like the same vault. It's the same. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very controlled environment because it's indoors. Right. Um, not that they're not trying a new skill or whatever, mm -hmm. but. That makes sense, bro. Oh, is this tree in play for me? Oh, he didn't go that far off. Good for you. And I ended up here last time too, bro. Dang, dude. See this hill I have to deal with though? Yeah. I should have probably bought, brought a seven and kept it low. I got plenty of green on this left. Dang it. Too much. Ugh. That was the right trajectory though. Oh, you're out of the bunker at least. Yeah, I'm not in there. Jeez, good shot. Good shot. I low key would pick that up if it was this. Hey, golf and gospel classic, bro. There's no no, no gimme rule. All right, guys, I'm looking to save bogey here. Dang, it's weird. Oh. Dang it, bro. Slow down, you gotta accelerate through the ball. Yeah, I definitely do. Come on, double now? What a turn of events. Do you want to enter? Uh, you leave in. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And just like that, you can take the lead. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, I was kind of nervous over that putt. <laughs> I don't know if it showed. Dang. Yeah. Triple and par. Oh, man. That's fine. Forget the whole happen. Short-term memory. Yeah, it's like when you throw a pick. Did you play anything else in high school or just, just receiver? Oh, uh, position-wise, yeah. Just, I mean, I played corner a little bit, but bro, I want to try and go to college play corner. Dude, who was the best corner you ever faced? Was it Prince? Uh, I mean, Prince was good. I mean, I might be biased here. Like I said, in the NFL, I play a lot of special teams, so I didn't get to actually match up against... Uh, DBs like that, like I want it, but for me, going against, I'm gonna just say Byron Jones. He got paid a lot of money, and we went to college together, so I always have to see him. So, oh, okay, that'll be my answer. All right, guys. So there's my uh, 
hopefully my one and only blow up hole, triple bogey. He went par, so just like that, he took the lead. He's up two strokes. But man, so like you said, you went to Nebraska, and obviously on a golf scholarship, and there was a tragic incident that happened. So you said you were driving to the airport to drop your friends off. Yeah, my roommates, yeah, teammates off, and uh, driving back. It was a really bad weather day, you know. I remember, yeah. I remember, all I remember was being able to see out the bottom of the windshield, and I'm like, just drive slow, maybe mm -hmm. you can get back. Yeah. You know, I'm 20 or 19 at the time, like, I can do it. Yeah. I'm invincible. Yeah, <laughs> invincible. Um, yeah, and then the car hit some ice, and then th it rolled over, landed on the other side of the highway, wow. and then I got hit head on. Mm. The good thing is, the silver lining is, I don't remember any of it. Wow. I, yeah, so I got I got a really bad skull fracture, mm -hmm. so I don't remember any of it, and my brain couldn't settle any memory. Mm. Um, so I remember like the next morning, like this, someone comes in and is like, "Hey, here's a pamphlet in case you have PTSD." Mm. I'm like, "Well, I don't have that." Yeah. Thank thank God. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember any. I remember bits and pieces of the night, like after the accident, mm -hmm. but yeah, not a, not a whole lot. So till this day, you still can't like recall the incident. I can't recall the crash. I can yeah. recall a little bit of the night before, like after the crash mm -hmm. like like being in the hospital and i don't want to say it's right little tmi because they're like but they're like hey you gotta you know do this and that mm -hmm. and we gotta make sure you're st i remember a little bit of that and being yeah. wheeled around mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and i remember i couldn't see it. it's like have you seen shallow how yeah so like remember when like uh glenn paltrow goes to the door and he has like the mm -hmm. vast the petroleum jelly on his eyes yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's your vision that was my vision yeah. that night because they were like waking me up and they're like hey you have to do this or mm -hmm. hey we need this from you mm -hmm. or that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, or they're like trying to get my like orientation, like, hey, do yeah. you know your name? Mm -hmm. And that kind of stuff. And I'd open my eyes and it would just be yeah, petroleum jelly. <laughs> what about, um, I know one thing you said, because I read your blog, is that once you got back to recovery, trying to get back to golf, you kept developing migraines. Yeah, that, that was probably the most tragic thing. I feel like it's weird because when I got in the crash, stuff like that, I was a little more optimistic everybody was around me showing me support and mm -hmm. i think that that really helps right mm -hmm. so getting through like that spring semester was fine yeah. like, i was able to go through school my coach didn't demand anything of me mm -hmm. so like i was just a student i wasn't mm -hmm. really a student athlete that yeah. spring but then that fall came around and like then they what a lot of the doc physicians were saying is like the stress is what mm -hmm. caused your migraines because mm -hmm. i would get like a migraine at the start of every semester it seemed yeah. like yeah, and that ended up uh, being the reason why I had to medically retire from golf. Dang, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get more further into that. Um, we're on hole four, guys. It says 135, but let's see what this gun says. <sighs> Draw. Dang it. Blocked it. Woo. That's it. All right, French. the club oh oh same as you okay. just short well, yeah just short good swings though yeah we literally have the same swing you're yeah. just righty i'm lefty yeah <laughs> I, I i guess i mean they all they say it's easier to correct the quote-unquote slice than the hook so i'm happy i never had the hooks my boy torrent he has a bad case of the hooks man oh yeah that was your last guess yeah I, I yeah, yeah my homie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But like, just because you're competitive, you're like really competitive, doesn't mean you have to be mean off the no. competition, you know? Yeah, I can't see. I, I feel like when I attribute being mean, I attribute to being aggressive. And I don't want to be aggressive in like technique and golf where I'm gonna be all over the place. Yeah, but it's, I don't know. I, I just think like people are like, most golfers are a-holes, you know? But then it's like, dude, look at Tony Finau. He's won like, he won three times last year. Yeah. And I think he's won once this year and he's like the nicest dude ever. Ah, oh, why, why, why? Oh. Jeremy, you gotta know this, dude. A bad putt's always better than a bad chip. Yeah, and I know that, but I practiced that shot and I've been quote unquote successful with it, but uh -oh. these last two holes, I have not shown it. Okay. Man, it's that short. does leave the door open. Of course open. it is. It does leave the door open. All right. Oh. Looks like it breaks right to left. I probably would have hit a better chip, but. <laughs> right to left. Gotta hit it. They're slow. It started to. All right. 
these greens are brutally slow. I hammered that putt. I thought I did mine too. Stay up, you gotta be kidding. I'll let you finish. Bogey. What All right, way? I gotta make this to tie the hole. That'll be nice. Whoa, shoot. Double. Dang it, bro. Mm. I mean, Yari, I know you say you medically had to retire from golf, but how was it trying to get back into it, though? Like, was it frustrating or, like, how was it? Oh, dude, incredibly frustrating, you know? Like, I mean, you probably had the same experience if it, when, you, when you try to do something but your body doesn't let you. I don't know, yeah. when, you, when you come back from an injury and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. And that's the thing with, like, concussions. It's weird. It's like, if you exert, and I know this because of what I do for work, yeah. but if you exert, your headache comes on. Wow. And for me, I'm like, well, I want to get back to golf. And then as soon as I exert or anything, like try to hit a shot or go practice or go work out, you know, try to stay in shape so I can walk 36 holes, it would, I would just get this tiny migraine and then it'll just get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. So yeah, that was incredibly frustrating. Like just when you when you realize your body lets you down. Yeah. Now my, obviously I didn't have anything as, as you know, fatal and drastic as you, but like, that's how I felt about my hamstrings, bro. Like they just would not get better. No matter what I did, I've done stem cell, dry kneeling everything bro and like i said i play special teams in the league <clears throat> so to be successful man, i mean i can't finesse special teams yeah you gotta sprint yeah so like every time my hamstrings could let me down it's just it's just i'm like 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 do what i'm trying to because like my body's trying to protect itself from like certain moves and it just wouldn't do it as proficiently so i, I get what you're saying bro yeah, yeah you subconsciously will protect it's uh yeah yeah well, that's a that's a like whereas a muscle strain is common to, to yeah. see that Whereas for me, it was just, if I exert, it's like, oh. Mm. I was really reluctant. Like, I was like, no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to go see the physician, <clears throat> and he was like, dude, you should just focus on school. If wow. you want to go play pro golf after, you can still play pro golf. Yeah. Just focus on school. He's like, I think it's the combination of the two that's stressing you out. Mm. And uh, I was like, dude, no way. I yeah. came here to golf. Yeah. I came here to play you know like i i just feel guilty for them paying for my school yeah and doing you know yeah doing nothing so um i was really resistant to it and just i love golf you know yeah. like my whole life i was a golfer feel that and to all of a sudden just be a student was mm -hmm. really hard a really hard pill to swallow <sighs> pulled it again good shot what's, what's that oh deep it went deep yeah, on the right side. Sorry, I don't have that great of eyes. When it's in the sun, especially. Yeah, drop those hands behind you, bro. Wow. I overthought that whole thing. I'm gonna take a provisional, so I'm hitting three off the tee. That was my most embarrassing hit. Dang, two different players, man. First two holes versus the last two. Oh my gosh, all right, hitting three. So it has to go in the hole. Cut. What the heck? Oh no. Can't just be happy in this sport. That's right, you're still a, you're still a good person. <laughs> oh, I was hitting three, so I'm hitting four. I left that one player that got those two pars back a hold one and two. That was terrible. I gotta make this in one putt. Okay. Sit. Sit. All right. All right, hey, sit down. Here. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Where are the slow greens at? I know, right? I have a feeling this green's gonna run a little faster than the other ones. It just looks shorter, but. Go! Ah! I need a one put, dog. What turn of events? Oh, just hit it! Deceptively slow, you know? I'm, I'm too used to putting with the flag not in. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Um, so when the USGA changed the rule, I couldn't change back. <laughs> Man, I just don't think I'm ever gonna get a putt there. You can finish it. Bogey? Yeah. Another triple. Sheesh, man. Went all downhill, but still got time. Y'all, I don't know what happened, guys. I caught a yips, hit the back of the ground, took a provisional shot, triple bogey again. Now I'm down bad. I don't know where that golfer went on those first two holes. But, bro, um, 
So obviously, so you medically retired, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it was a struggle for you because you know one thing you said or I read that you found your identity in God, but then you started to see a Christian therapist and things started to turn for you. So you want to talk about that? Yeah. I, first off, like I feel like a lot of athletes say that I, they identify with Christ. You know, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I said that even before I got through my medical or went through all my adversity, you know? And I really want to say, like, it's way easier said than done to mm -hmm. identify in Christ because you play your sport all day. Mm -hmm. You think about your sport all day. You know, I, I remember watching this Olympian uh, in an interview, like, in the Winter Olympics when I was, like, little, so I don't remember who, the, who it was. Mm -hmm. But a reporter was like, hey, uh, how many hours a day do you train? And the guy, like, scoffs, like, oh, that's a stupid question. Mm -hmm. He's like, why is that a stupid question? You can quantify how many hours you train. Yeah. And then the Olympian's like, well, I train 24 hours a day. Yeah. When I sleep, it's for my... Mm, my thing yeah. you know and when i eat or when i do everything it's for, and that was my mindset mm. growing up and, and playing golf and stuff like that was everything i do even my social interactions you know the ones i sacrifice or the ones i went to for golf so when you when that's your when that's your life it's hard to not identify with it right. you know it's hard to not identify and also when people introduce me to their friends like this is nate he's the golfer mm. i'm assuming that's the same case for you right jeremy yeah, the football yeah, player yeah so one thing is the I'm always golfing yeah. and I'm always thinking about golf. Then the, my friends in the world are saying Nate's the golfer. Mm -hmm. So when that was taken away, then I was like, then I realized what my identity was really in. It was really in golf, yeah. even though I said mm -hmm. I identified in Christ. Yeah. Um, and it it's like the law of entropy, you know, like it's just that's just how human nature is. Mm -hmm. And if you really want to fight human nature if you want to fight entropy it takes a lot of energy and yeah. it takes a lot of time i'm not saying i have the answer for sure but it's definitely something to be aware of when yeah. you're an athlete just it's really hard to identify in christ and not in your sport yeah. particularly if you're super dedicated to it yeah so how, how did the christian therapist help you in that Good. yeah so she didn't necessarily bring up god a lot mm -hmm. i think it was more or less like the subtle outlook that she had mm -hmm. that would kind of shove me in the right direction the grace that she had mm -hmm. Um, those things, just like her, her, her characteristics that reflected Christ mm -hmm. That's good. and her patience. She gave me like this analogy and another one of our friends said the same thing exactly, mm -hmm. but it was like, you know, right now you're a, a glass of water or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you just dumped the glass out. But what really happened is you just switch glasses. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that kind of helped me come to wraps with like, I'm still this person. I'm still Nate. Yep. And there's all these other things about me, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When you're young, it's all about sport. But yeah. Whereas when you get older, you have a family, and then you realize, um, I'm Jeremy, the husband, or whatever. Yeah. Or I'm not. I don't know if you're married, but I have a fiance. fiance. Yeah. yeah so, fiance, yeah. yeah, you're. You realize you're like you're Jeremy, the, the fiance. You're mm -hmm. Jeremy, the father, or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, whatever it comes down to be. But for me, I all I that's all I had. So yeah. that was really tough. And she had to work really hard to show me that yeah. I'm a little bit more than just a golfer, you know. Hey, man, bro. That's amazing. So again, tee box is yours, dog. All right. Greens are a little bit slower and tee boxes are a little bit muddier, but it's all right. It's summer, it's weird. Oh, cut. Did that go long? Oh, he went deep. Dang it. All right, man, he opened the door, bro. Don't overthink anything. God, I suck. I don't know if that's good or bad to say right before you hit, don't overthink anything. <laughs> but, dog, just, just, just do your swing. Cut. Oh, that's gonna get a good bounce. Yep. Nice. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. There we go. <clears throat> birdie out. Got a birdie out, man. I need to get some negatives on here. I need to hit some greens, dude. I can't believe I didn't hit a green yet. <laughs> How far do you go? Oh yeah, nice. All right, watch out. This could go anywhere. Not bad. That's discouraging. Look left to right. You gotta actually hit the ball, bro. They are slow. Don't kill it, but hit it. Dang it. Good try. Thanks. PSG makes golf balls now? Yeah, they do. I didn't even know that. Parsky. Dang it. He ain't missing no putts <sighs> within four. Dude. I'm, <laughs> my regular friends, bro, that aren't golfers, they'll miss that. No, dude, when you say you got to finish out, 
I'm nervous over those putts. But I just, you're making them though. Yeah, it's just, uh, you can still make it despite nerves, you know? <laughs> Hey, look, dude, you gotta remember, when Scotty Scheffler won the Masters, remember he four putted? Yeah, yeah, he I missed do. those. Yeah. Best golfer in the world. In the world. Misses those. About that, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm I can't plus be making, eight. <laughs> I can't be making all these bogeys. <clears throat> having fun. Yeah. I think my swing in the last hole was 133, so I just gotta do that. Be the club. That long again? I can't tell. I think dude. so. I think I saw you go over the bunker. Oh, that looks good. Do I see it or did I go over too? I think I'm on. I think you're on. Yeah. Nice. Another chance. I can't see that well under the sun. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Two good shots onto the green. For me, I never aim for the hole. I aim for the green, so I'm happy here. But also, guys, shout out to my sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. But shout out to T's Cross Golf Polo Brand. Look them up on IG. Dope people, man. Ah, keep breaking right. Okay, it's all right. Make your pars. I hate to be pretentious, but I'm gonna pull it. Oh man, nah, my bad, bro. You're good. I just never do. Yeah, it saves time. I feel like it helps me with aiming, even though I just missed, but. Whatever. It saves time, you know? Yeah. If I'm within like a makeable distance, which is, I don't wanna say I can, I mean. Nah, I you're make, saying it. <laughs> but you know, this is not make, I, I mean, it's not makeable, but this is a look at birdie, right? Yeah. Like if you're on tour, the guys on tour are like, this is a chance, they're not making it every time, but. Yeah. Driving range verse of the week is Matthew 5, 16. It says, let your light shine before others that they may see your good works, but give glory to God who is in heaven. So how are you reflecting Jesus? Now back to this episode of Golf and Gospel. Go! Come on! How slow are these greens? All right, man, I gotta make this to tie the hole. You're fine, you got it though. All right, you just drained this par. Should have been a bird. That was a great read. It was a great read. Nice. Go. Thanks. Par par. Dang, I'm gonna look back at those blow posts and be mad. <laughs> Sheesh. He has to lead right now. I had some terrible blow up posts, guys. But Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 8 and 9, he essentially said how like he was so burdened beyond his strength, that, like he couldn't handle it to the point where he had to rely on Christ. I want you to talk about how maybe the words aggressive, how the suffering of the accident brought you closer to Christ. It definitely made it more real because I feel like everyone has an idea of what God wants for them, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, I thought God wanted me to be a pro golfer mm -hmm. or whatever, right? Wow. I thought he wanted me, wanted to use me through the sport. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of, especially young athletes will think that, but I think it, it just showed me that God's divine and mm -hmm. his plan is better than anything I could have myself, right? Like if we try to write our stories, it'd be super lame. There'd be no conflict. Wow. There yeah. would just be this walk in the park, right? Mm -hmm. And that's good. You know, you'd be all pro and in the Hall of Fame and tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the the conflict is what shows God's strength, right? Then mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the story is to show God's glory, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember I heard an analogy when I was in high school, and it was uh, there. There was this pastor saying like, if 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 I needed to show off my strength and I needed help, I needed help. Like if I'm gonna like, let's say like lift this golf cart or something, mm -hmm. would I get like the strongest guy here to help me show off my strength? Mm -hmm. Or would I get the weakest guy here? Someone kind of mm -hmm. scrawny to, to demonstrate my strength yeah. doing something that I need help in, right? Mm -hmm. That's what God does is he shows his strength through our mm -hmm. weaknesses. Yeah. He shows our strength through our despair. That's good. He shows how glorious and how, how much joy, like pure, legitimate joy you can mm -hmm. have through him instead of through your sport right that's good that's because good. yeah when you when you win a super bowl what, what happens after you win a super bowl mm -hmm. you want to win another super bowl yeah, for sure. you know after you win the masters you have to defend the rest of the mm -hmm. other four majors right yeah. so the the joy is the or the happiness is fleeting whereas mm -hmm. joy in christ is legit it's Longest. secure yeah it's a true solid foundation that's so good, that's good
All right, guys, well, finally we got two par fours to close it out. Short ones, though, 280, 275 on the 281. He told me he's excited for these drivable par fours, so let's uh, see what happens. Okay, this might be the breakfast ball hole. Because <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, if I hit my three wood well, it goes well. If I don't, it goes very unwell. Yeah. One of the golf coaches I know would always be like, if you want to humble someone, give them a three wood. <laughs> Bro, this, this three wood's like loud like a driver. Whereas my driver's not that loud. Yeah. Kind of disappointing. Oh, I think. Wow, it. low stinger. I totally thinned it. I'm glad you thought I was trying to hit a stinger though. Oh, that's what I thought, dog. <laughs> And right. Was he that close to us? I don't know where that ball went. All right, I'm right here. He's there. I'll go first. I don't know what's going on. I'm hitting it further today. I think it's because the heat. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. The ball's gonna travel. Further. I'm not used to this. Uh, so it was like 280, and I'm way back there. Yeah. With the three wood, you know. I don't mean to flex on everybody. <laughs> All right, anyways, all right, guys, pin high on the driver. Miss right, obviously, on the right of it. So, let's got to get on. Hopefully, uh, some birdie ops. Ew. This. Hey, it might be a good miss. Ugh. Come off that hill. Gosh, man, I'm on, but that's so disgusting. Look, dude, if I took a driver off the tee, I'd be in the street. Hey, man, these ducks got diarrhea, bro. Oh, get down. What a weird miss. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, I stayed up on the hill? Yeah. Wow. All right, forget about that last shot because I'm definitely still thinking about it. I want the miss right. Good pace. Got a par, hopefully. Fish? Yeah. Okay. That's a par. Oh, wow. dude. The golf gods. Man. That was that that was probably it for me right there, guys. Them golf gods, brutal. Man. Couple blow up holes. Got it back together, lip out right there. You know what's crazy, bro? You made it when they counted, though. Every time you left the door open for me, you made it when they counted. Bro, uh, in your bio, you got First Timothy 115. Can you tell me what that verse is and why it has an importance to you? Yeah, so it goes something along the lines of like, Christ came to forgive all sinners, of which I am the foremost. Mm -hmm. And I like that because it's Paul writing to Timothy. Mm -hmm. And Paul's a, like, if he could win an award for yeah. being the best Christian ever, he's definitely in the running, right? Right. And if he's humble enough to say that I'm the biggest sinner, mm -hmm. then I think that's kind of the posture we have to have amongst our peers, right? Yeah. So I don't feel like a lot of people in my circles or anything, or like a lot of the Christians I run into are arrogant or anything like mm -hmm. that. But yeah, I just think, I just like the humility in that, sure. in that verse. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, and, and just, it gives me that posture that when I approach people, mm -hmm. it's it's not judgmental. It's yeah. I'm genuinely curious. I'm genuinely trying to help yeah. when I ask these questions or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, it just is a good reminder for me. Uh, that's good, man. I, I like Paul's humility in that too, because like despite how obedient we strive to be, be to the word, how much we love Jesus, bro. Like like we're the worst of the worst, bro. Like we cannot perfect this thing, and I think that's obviously what the beauty of Christ is, because. Because we can't perfect it, he still died on the cross for that. And through him, his son, you know, uh, we get to be in heaven with God. So, good answer, bro. We're on this last hole, guys, par four, 275. I thought he hit a stinger last time. He said uh, he hit it then. But uh worked out for him. He went par. So, on this last hole, uh, like I said, it's pretty much over for me. So, see what happens. I remember, the, I just, I don't know why I just thought about this. But when I was uh, at church one time, mm -hmm. I remember there was this, this speaker that was like, I used to work at a church. I was a pastor at a church right next to, a, I think, a strip club or something like that. Mm -hmm. He's all like, I curse them every day. He, mm -hmm. he jokingly said it, but yeah. he's like, I curse them every day. I drove past them. Like, 
curse this strip club. Why does it have to be right next to my church when mm-hmm. I'm trying to be godly or whatever? Yeah. There's a strip club kind of ruining the picture of a church. Yeah. And then, like, eventually one day, I think he said, like, the Holy Spirit told him, was like, hey, instead of cursing them to hell, why don't you love the hell out of them? Mm. So I kind of, that's also the reason why for that First Timothy verse is. Yeah. That's good, bro. Yeah. So that that's another form of inspiration. All right. Oh my God, what is going on? It's gonna run. I just stood up. It's still going, is it on? That's crazy. Good miss. God, what an amateur swing though. <laughs> what an amateur swing. Can't let, just, they just recorded that. <laughs> hey man, they are gonna be so distracted by my bad shots and I ain't gonna worry hey, about can that. You- Dang it. Ugh. To the right. I can't help but go outside in, man. It's so hard to force it. Hey, no way. <laughs> hey, we should pull uh, Happy Gilmore and just play it as it lies, you know? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, free drop, dog. <laughs> yeah. Free drop. That's hilarious, though. Hey, there's no white sticks, so. <laughs> All right, uh, that's our hole, right? There. Yeah, right, right yeah. through there. <clears throat> hey, free <laughs> drop! I love that. Where is my, there it is. That's funny. Again, guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Please. Got to get on my knees. Look, click the button. What do I do here? So, Nate, what would you do right here, bro? Dude, this is an easy lot. Like, the trees aren't in play. I would just hit it right wow. over these trees into on the pin. Okay. That's how I would play it. He switch clubs. Okay. <laughs> he made it seem so easy that if I don't do it, I'm going to feel bad. I don't know about that. It's not that <laughs> easy, but... Uh, Go! No distance. That was the that shot, was though. Oh. But dude, that was the shot. Yeah, it was. You just, a little more juice, but it's all right. I was afraid to put full swing and bend it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, just say you're standing on this thing. It's a man-made object. You yeah. can get for your leaf. There we go. Y'all heard him. Okay. <sighs> what is that? My... That's what you were trying to do. Okay. All right. Got to look well, at birdie on the last hole. Got to make this for par. Dang. Get you a birdie, man. Oh, dang, dude. You pulled the cup out. You're so strong. Oh, shoot. <laughs> dude, thanks for pulling the pin, though. Wow. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Belair. Remember the US Open, it bounced out? That's how it happens. Really? Yeah, if you have the... But you have to, so what happens, you have to have a little bit of cup yeah. and the ball has to hit right there Yeah. and it'll just bounce out. Remember oh, that? okay. That makes sense. This isn't Sunday at the US Open. This is just <laughs> Saturday at Bel Air, which same difference. <laughs> oh, I blocked it. Oh, par. Dude. Whatever. <laughs> dang it. Every time, dude. Man, there's a bogey. All right. Hey, dude. Hey, bro. I was playing with you, dog. Good, good had, time with you, man. Had those stupid blow up holes. Again, like I said, like and subscribe. Follow my guy on IG. What's your IG again? Hey, um, dude. Yeah, uh, that's my personal page, but. Yeah, you um, got your, your physical therapy page. Too, yeah, right? I got my physical therapy page if you guys want to check that out, but yeah. it's ma- mo- mainly physical therapy content. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like physical therapy fans, but what, what is yeah. it, though? It's just rehab explained. Yeah, so. man. So, yeah. Pete guy on IG, man. Um, heck of a golfer. Uh, but thank you guys again for watching. Sorry about the terrible golf. I had some good holes, man, but... Yeah, thanks for having me out, man. Absolutely, man. But once again, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Catch with you guys. Peace. See ya. Dang, dog. Oh, my.